Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Borderline, and this is a new crime drama thriller from director Rich Mallory, who also wrote this film, starring Kate Lee Johnston, who plays Charlie, a young woman suffering from mental illness and opiate addiction, who struggles to hold it all together, often leaving behind a wake of destruction. And she begins to lose her fragile grip on reality, her demons lead her down a dangerous path with no way out. And this particular film, you could feel right off the bat, it's made on a shoestring budget. Uh, there's a lot of like technical aspects that are lacking, and I think in particular, especially the sound mixing, uh, feels really off in terms of a lot of scenes. And it kind of takes you out of the scene, too, especially when there's so many scenes that what Johnson is doing is just yelling. Like, right off the bat from the start of this movie, yelling. And I feel bad because I feel like most of her performance is yelling. And it really doesn't do too much justice to this character who's struggling with these really challenging issues of mental illness, opi uh, opiate addiction... And I don't think this film really handles those things particularly well with, you know, like kindness with a certain sense of tact. It just kind of feels blunt force trauma. And this story takes Charlie into some weird places. There's scenes that are just feel gross and uncomfortable to watch. And not in a way that it's, a, it's like trying to like, deliver that kind of feeling. It just feels like there's some gross approaches to how this film tackles these issues. And especially when, like, these lack of reality and what's going on, it kind of feels a little manipulative of these particular issues that it's leveraging it to try to be like, ooh, is this real? Is this happening? And not not many of the performances feel particularly strong or bring a lot of depth to these characters that don't honestly don't have a whole lot of depth this film certainly takes you on a ride it goes to some crazy places like i mentioned some of those places just felt icky to me you might appreciate how much this is like swings swings for the fences honestly this film really goes for it in many ways it just for me a lot of it was these big whiffs just completely missing the ball but you might be able to find some curiosity out of this and seeing how this all shakes out but in the end it really didn't feel like a particularly satisfying conclusion to an already messy, uneven, and overall unsatisfying experience watching this film. I just wish that with such like important topics, it would have approached it from a different way, but it didn't. That's what the film is, and you could take it however you take it. This particular one just did not click with me. But those are my thoughts on Borderline. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.